felt like we were too close, and that's when we probably went about half a mile in reverse down the wrong way on the interstate to get us far enough away from the storm. as to exactly how much damage was being done. You can see huge debris. You can actually see what appears to be full-length 2 by 4s I mean, just everything and anything had been sucked up and was spiraling around a half-mile circle. Oh, my God. That thing is destroying everything. reports we've had uh, this thing is clearly a large violent tornado that is down on the ground i tried to indicate that this is a genuine genuine emergency this is not a false alarm this is an extremely violent situation notice the power flashes it's very hard to stay composed on the air because you know that if Many people don't do anything in the path of that. There's a good chance they're going to lose their life. I want everybody in the city limits of Tuscaloosa to stay sheltered. I have a wife and two children, but you cannot be fatigued. You cannot be distracted. You cannot be emotional. Nobody should be on campus walking. Nobody should be driving. Oh, no. This was different on a lot of levels. You don't normally see a very clearly defined funnel like you did with that tornado. It had multiple vortices, meaning there was a lot of small funnel-like shapes that circulated around the outside of the tornado itself. Debris everywhere. Now it's doing major damage in Tuscaloosa. As we were standing there, we were watching this come into a metropolitan area. just obvious it was a horrendous situation. Oh, no. I'm an on-air personality program director for a radio station. All of a sudden, they started blaring the sirens. right in front of the radio station. You look out at this cloud of black dust that just goes all the way up to the heavens. This thing is huge! It was breathtaking. is a very large tornado coming directly our way. This includes the University of Alabama campus. If you see anybody outside, tell them to get inside right now. The majority of people who were gathered in that studio, Tuscaloosa is home for them. This is coming right towards our television station. You could feel the power of the fear just radiating from people. You want to get everybody out of the hallway and into our studio if that is a possibility because uh, this is definitely a life-threatening situation. We just all huddled underneath our news desk and it was people that were working at the station as well as people that were just grabbed from outside in the hallway and told to come in. It was really utterly terrifying. moving like mad over there. We both begin to see kind of a torrential a movement of clouds, but it was so close to the ground. I mean, it looked like it was right behind another house. What is that flying in the air? There's debris. There's debris flying in the air, dude. Right over right there. Dude, that's getting loud. The rumbling of the ground and the 
pressure change and the sound growing louder and louder and louder came towards us. We were scared to the point of going inside. Oh my god, what are you doing that? Oh dude, you see all the debris up yeah. there flying? Oh dude, that looks wild. Oh, it's right there. That's the tornado right there. I see my tree disappear, and I said, all right, it's time for us to go downstairs and get to a safe place. And I grabbed all the couch cushions off of the couch and threw them down there, and then just kind of laid on top of those couch cushions and put them behind me and laid on top of my friend. 